there. Um, all right, we have this one. I don't know what the fuck this is. Let's watch a little bit of this. Is this? I sent Visum Hotline four months ago to inspire people across the world in parts of the internet that I've never seen or heard of. My goal when I started this hotline was to save as many people as possible through converting them to Buddhism live on the air, or if I help inspire and teach them the ways of Buddhism so they can find it on their own, or they can help others find it on their own. So this is all just some clown shit, right? None of this is actually meant to, to help spiritually awaken anybody. Who are these guys? Do y'all know these dudes? The Buddhism hotline? Anybody familiar in the chat at all? It's apparently a YouTube channel. Somebody had suggested me to fuck with these niggas. Please bow your head with me. Thank Good. you. Thank you. Let me look this Thank up real you. quick. This puts me in mind of some Britney Venti type shit. Like a parody channel. Like, you know how Britney doesn't take herself seriously, so she's able to just say whatever the fuck on her? I don't know. I never really vibe too hard with channels with that kind of content, but I mean, I can see the, I can see the appeal. I can, I can recognize where it's appealing, but this doesn't appeal to me per se, you know, yeah, but. I'm not sure what that was. Hey, it's, running low. it's ridiculous though, that's for sure. What is this? Cock ring. I got the horses in the back. I hate with the call. Ch Chad, Chad, shut that off. Chad, shut that off right this now. This nigga's a fool. Wait, so niggas can just donate to him? I, I beg your pardon? Who's reading this right now? People call him and they read this shit? What if we had a Joy-Con Boys hotline? What if there was a way? What if I got a new phone, niggas? Listen to me. Listen to me. Hear this out. What if I got a phone and I literally just gave the phone number out there and was like, yo, y'all can call. We'll have a section where we take calls in from viewers. That wouldn't be a bad idea. It'd be interesting. It'll give a little something different to like kind of change the streams up a little bit. What do y'all think about that? A, a, a Joy-Con Boys viewer hotline. Nigga said yes, do it. All right, so we're going to go to North Korea's uh, internet. And we're also going to start up a viewer hotline during live streams. Okay. Very good idea, though. You know what? Even if I don't fuck with somebody's content, to see the appealing aspects of it, isolate those and, and gain, nigga, it's basically stealing memes. Yes, I'll steal a meme. Why not? We'll do. I'll set this thing up later, though. I'm probably going to wind up getting my information somehow hacked and doxed and potentially have everything about me leaked out to the public. But I mean, it's all good. Um, Joy-Con boys phone hotline. Very, very good, man. So, more content for the future. Thank you guys for the yeah, idea. This book of yours is a, is a work of art. Buddha bless and I really love bless it. you. Oh, Let's Buddha see what else we can extract. Buddha cut me and Katie is beautiful tits. I fucking love that shit, man. I don't know. I'm on there all the fucking time. I fuck her so good. What's the name of that condition when somebody just randomly curses and says shit out loud and screams without, like, any restraint? Tourette's. There we go. The, the nigga on the phone sound like he had Tourette's. She loves my dick in and around her mouth, you fucking cuck faggot Jew. Like, I remember this one dude who would just randomly, it's like this old school YouTuber, I think, who would just be fucking bitch. Like, it, 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 it used to make me laugh. It doesn't make me laugh anymore because it's such stupid content. But I mean, it, it okay, maybe it does a little bit, but okay. I, I, I don't know what, what, what. Very big surprise is like incoming. Be ready. Very big surprise incoming. What? What did you say? So he's playing a character the whole time. Oh, I know this is about to be some ear rape type shit. Oh no. What is this? He wants you to turn the volume up, probably. <laughs> Motherfucker. So this is the kind of shit that he. Bless why? You, uh... Buddha, fuck me, Buddha, fuck you. This is why, even though I, I, I took one of his, I will never, ever have it so I can have donations read to me through that robot. Because I know for a fact that y'all are going to start fooling, as if there's already not enough factors to keep up with on these live streams. But 
when niggas start sending me messages that read themselves, bro, I one time, I remember the one time that I had that on in a live stream and somebody sent me just endless messages of like the thing saying R, R, R over and over again or like random terms like that. And it was like, okay, I can't do this. Nigga. Fuck that. But I mean, hey, respect to this man that he can put himself through it, bro. Like his ears are probably never going to be the same after something like that, bro. Like that, That's evil. And you know, it's kind of funny because I sort of did something like that similar online. And I just want to get this out there. I really want to apologize for this tweet that I retweeted from this one nigga. I think I talked about it. And by the way, not, not, not this tweet. No, that, 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 now that tweet, I fucking really wanted to retweet, but I'm talking about this one. Um, this was a really, really fucked up tweet. I'm going to play it now. I'm just going to warn you. It, 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 it's very, very loud. So, um, I'll put myself through it with you guys. That was from the last live stream. This shit got a little bit, uh, <laughs> a little crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, um, very, very good tweet. But I know I probably fucked up a couple people with that. So, yeah, that that's that's why I brought it up because it, it happened to that nigga up there. And, you know, I felt bad.